Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to share with you how I scan a CT pulmonary angiogram using a Canon Achillion Prime SP 160 slice CT. But before that, we need to know what is pulmonary embolism. It usually occurs when a blood vessel in the lungs is blocked by a blood clot. Symptoms of this pulmonary embolism includes difficulty of breathing, chest pain, and coughing up blood. So sit back and watch the entire video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's begin by choosing the CTPA protocol. Now, these are the scan sequences that I've used. Dual scannergram, SNV, SureStart, and the helical. Next, we need to scan the dual scannergram, which is the AP and the lateral, to ensure that the machine will calculate the dose effectively for the patient. Next, Let's use the tech assist lateral slide of this machine to ensure that the patient is in the middle of the table. After that, plan your FOV and cover the entire chest of the patient. Next, let's put the scan in view 1 cm below the carina as shown in this picture. Now let's check the scan details that I've used. KV and MA are set to automatic while rotation time is 0.35. For the recon details, volume is set to 0.5 by 0.5 mm and for the axial, coronal and sagittal, they are set to 3 mm by 3 mm thickness. Now let's press confirm and begin the scan. But before that, couch will move to the slice position that we set up. Just press the move button to change the couch lateral position. And then the machine will ask you to wait until the scan start key lights before beginning to scan the scan and view. Now let's place the ROI right in the middle of the pulmonary trunk. These are the settings that I've used for our short start. 120 HU, meaning the machine will start scanning when it reaches 120 ounces per unit of contrast. And now let's press confirm and wait for the machine be ready for scanning. While waiting, let's now set up the power injector. These are the settings that I've used. On the A side, I use a 40 ml of Iomeron 400 contrast with a 4 ml per second flow rate. While on the B side, I use a 30 ml of saline with the same flow rate. Now let's inject the contrast and press the scan at the same time. The only thing to do now is wait until the 120 HU is reached so that the machine will start scanning. Alright, that's it. The scan is done. But first, you need to press the stop rotate and the quit exam before leaving. Now let's check the images that we got. I think for this patient, the pulmonary embolism is negative. But still, we got a good scan for the pulmonary arteries. If you like this video, don't forget to press that like button below. And if you are new to my channel, I'm more than happy if you subscribe and share this video also. Thank you very much guys. See you in my next CT scan video. Enjoy!